Hello and welcome to my little winter mission. I'm going to do a little walk, um, just a small one. I couldn't go into the mountains because we're on lockdown, but I have a new hammock and a new tarp I want to try out. So I'm going to get dropped off at the edge of the allowed limit for our lockdown, which is 30 kilometers, which puts us just near Arona. I'm in Camry now, which is where we live. And then I'm going to walk back along the Ticino, the river, hopefully, and stop either one or two nights under the hammock. And also it's snowing tomorrow, so minus five tomorrow night. So it's going to be pretty cold, hence the multiple layers. So I'm going to do a little kit layout. So I'm on a kit layout for ages, just organize my kit, think through everything I need. And I'm going to do a little video about my little adventure. There it is, big bag packed. So I've woken up on the day of the adventure and I knew it was going to snow overnight, but there's quite a lot of snow. Oh, happiness is happening. <laughs> the last good feed before the walk. Mm -hmm. The trail starts here. I'll see you later. See you. Bye, puppy. Good job. Okay, mission on. Nice big kebab in the belly. Bit of a stomp, stomp on. Uh, I have done five kilometers in an hour. Yeah, there's been a trail thus far, but now I'm stepping on lovely, fresh, crunchy snow. Oh, beautiful. Um, I might be kind of back settling. It always takes me a little, little, little bit of time to get sort of settled into uh, the big bag. path has gone from that nice big wide definitely a path to well behind me is I think the path ahead of me is possibly the path basically I don't know if I'm on the path or not but that's all right I know that if I was going to put a path down I'd follow this ridge line um, the Ticino is right down there but a bit of expectation versus reality just happened uh, I was kind of thinking that it would be nice to have a spot by the river uh, but the river's bloody miles away that way I'm thinking I need to look for somewhere to just set camp none of these trees are quite well orientated um, and a lot of them are deed we don't want deed I'm going to stop talking because I've got to have a good look around to try and find somewhere nice because that sun's going to drop but it's going to be nice to uh, collect wood while that's on the go. Well, good news is I found the track again. Nice big wide easy to follow track. The bad news is I'm missing that sunset and the last bit of light and that ridge that I thought I was going to be walking along. I am not. Uh, however, um, I'm decided to press on not to worry too much, you know, coming out into the woods isn't about worrying, stressing, it's about relaxing and enjoying, pushing oneself, but, uh, you know, ultimately to, to leave in a better state than what you entered, mentally if not physically. That might be the abandoned thing I saw on the satellite. 
I don't know what none of that is. They look like a factory of some kind. Get loads of these things in Italy. I did think I was going to sleep in there, but I thought I would definitely be scared. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Oh, that sun is actually warm. This is a good spot, isn't it? I need to get my ass into gear and find. Two trees, a big gun, uh, five, just found them. Yep, that'll do. See, James, no need to worry. There we are. Crack a lacking. Crack a lacking? Who am I? Who says that? Definitely not as slick as I want it to be. As I say, I've got some knots to learn and some other bits and bobs, but the hammock system is really quite simple. So you've got one strap on that side and I've got an Etrol um, three in one. So it's got this kind of mozzie net and obviously there's no mozzies at the, no at the moment, but it kind of gives quite a cozy kind of tent, tree tent sort of thing going on there. Um, I'm not sure if that's as tight as I need. I like it really nice and tight, but it will kind of do because I can't get it any tighter without hurting myself. We've got the big old sleeping bag set out. Uh, speaker up there. I'm going to sit and listen to an audio book. And yeah, that'll be nice and snuggly once we get going and you can, uh, you can look out at the view which is fading fast. So there is the sunset. Here is a bit of a beast of a fire, pretty happy with that. A couple of minutes to collect, mostly in the dark. What's on the menu tonight? Some zuppa traditionale, spicy nuts, some tea. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and everything's just warming and drying off nicely there. Some nice steam on the boots. So, Good night. Brr. Is chilly. So, first things first, I'm warming up the can, the gas can to get a brew on, warm from the inside out, and then I'm gonna get try and get a little fire on. I dried this stuff out last night, so I'm hoping that it will just go.
All right, we're all packed up. Fire's almost done. Just gonna have a quick tidy up of the area, and then we should start walking again. Look like a little beaver with one of those little neutral things. I've called for a pickup. What's my excuses? No excuses, really. Just I wanted to walk for a couple of days. I wanted to stop out in my um, in my hammock. And those things have been done. And uh, yeah, just my feet hurt. My little toe, I always uh, seem to forget this, but my little toe kind of folds underneath the other one. I need to just Vaseline it. But um, yeah, so Kristen is on the way to pick me up. We should have pizza, which would be nice. My hero. Oh, yeah. My hero has arrived. There she is. <laughs> Flashing at me. Woohoo! Uh, that was good. Got out into the nature. And now let's go back home. Hello, puppy! I hate these walk away shots. Here's a little fun fact that um, not many people might know, but uh, I think it's really nice to share, is that with most jackets, particularly like uh, sort of padded ones, um, they will actually fold, they're designed to fold, inside of one or other of the pockets. itself and then A, it's very packed down, uh, packed down very well and B, it's a nice pillow when you're in the hammock. I always put the most, uh, the things that I don't want to get wet and come out the last at the bottom and try and balance that off against weight. So like sleeping bag, number one priority, especially in cold weather conditions, you need that to be absolutely never wet even if you fall in the river. And then hammock, tarp, spare clothes, uh, nighttime clothes, have one set of completely just only when you've got the camp set up for uh, inside sleeping bag and then one set of spare next to skin stuff just in case that gets uh, wet or minging and food, water, electronics, got to carry a little battery because I'm going to film the whole thing with a GoPro and I've also got my Little speaker just there for listening to audiobooks while I'm walking. I've got my saw, knife, jet boil. I've actually remembered the gas this time. Last time I went into the mountains, I had my jet boil, but no gas, which is fun. Particulars of the hammock is uh, perpendicular to a good view is always nice, and also, if possible, perpendicular to the direction of wind. So the wind is going towards the nice view. That would be absolutely ideal because then you'd be looking at the nice view and also the fire would be in front of you and the wind would be going towards the nice view and not into your face. So that's always the ideal. It doesn't often happen like that, but um, that is the um, golden criteria. 